Hello and welcome! Thank you for joining me. Today we're gonna do another play along on a pinpointable world. No time limit, five rounds, and it's gonna be a moving game this time. I'm trying to get a perfect score. Been a while. So, link in description if you wanna play along. Let's get started. Red Rooster Drive Through, right off the bat. Not ringing a bell. We are driving on the left. Okay. It is a moving game, but if I can do it no moving, that would be cool too. Looks like I'm going to need to move. Let's check this sign out. Is that Colburn or Goldburn? I believe we have the Australian flag right here. Can we do better than that? Let's go this way. Beautiful. This highway sign right here. We're on the M31. On our way to Sydney, well, between Sydney and Canberra. Canberra? The M31 right here. There's Goldburn. <laughs> okay. Might just be at this roundabout. Let's go towards it. Yeah, that certainly is a roundabout, and we are going south towards it, so we must be on Hume Street. Let's go back to the beginning. I did see McDonald's. Oh, and the Red Rooster. Okay, yeah, McDonald's is back in there. And that bakery, Trapper's Bakery. Oh, yeah. We got it. We're right there. Let's give it a guess. 11 meters, 5,000 points. Pretty quick. Let's go on to round number two. Driving on the right. Looks like we have Spanish. Ecuador. Okay, we're in Ecuador. Good. Another roundabout. Let's see if we can't find a city name. Maybe that? Roca Fuerte? Let's just look in Ecuador. It's a small country. Roca Fuerte. Pretty interesting name. Roca Fuerte. Just gotta keep saying it. Well, it's not jumping out at me here. There it is, Roca Fuerte. Roca. It, yeah, Spanish. Roca Fuerte. All right. Well, do we have a big roundabout here somewhere? Looks like a fairly small town. Maybe on the outskirts. No roundabout. So maybe we're not in Roca Fuerte. It could be that this business is in Roca Fuerte. Where was it? Yeah, this this Valvoline boat lubricant. How about here? Oh, there's a port. We are on the coast. How did I miss that? Oh, and we have a taxi right here. All right, Manta. Maybe that's the name. Yep. Manta. Manta. Yeah, Manta. There we go. Maybe right around here. What businesses are around? Well, let's look north. Looks like we're looking north at the water. Probably closer to here. Let's put our guy there. Can I get a street name? Oh, yeah, I could just find the port. Yeah, Porto de Manta. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. Let's go back to the beginning just to make sure where we started. We're looking north. But we're on this side. Pretty happy with that guess. Nine meters, 5,000 points. Another pretty easy one there. Let's go on to round number three. E40, and not gonna try to pronounce that. BE, we are in Belgium, perhaps, and it looks like we're on another roundabout. Yeah, we are. Train goes right through this one. All right. Well, let's just look for the E40, which, yeah, it does seem to go all across the country there. How about that city? Kalai? Well, we'll just start at one end of the E40. Yeah, that's actually in France. It looked French, but uh, they speak French in Belgium. I don't know if these are the names of cities or not. Aidenkirk? Addenkirk. Let's look along the E40 here. 
Mm, feel like I'm getting too far. That's okay. It is a moving game, so we can move. That's not the name of a city, is it? Oh, wait. Depan. Right here. There is a roundabout here, and there is a train going through it. It's got to be this. Yeah, Depan Esplanade, right there. Back to the beginning. Let's look north. We're like right there. Ah, eh, probably right there. Yep, got the name of the street right there that I'm not going to try, try to pronounce. Let's give it a guess. Three meters, 5,000 points. On to round number four. Yellow license plates. Perfect. I know exactly where we are. Can't wait to get a ton of comments about this place. There's the 40. Okay. Looks like that could also be the 40. Can I get up there? Come on. Sometimes if you just click up there, it'll it'll take you up there. That's the 31. So we are wherever the 40 and the 31 meet. Yeah, it's got to be fairly south because I see Dead Sea there. Well, and here's the Dead Sea, and this country ends there. You notice how I'm not saying the name of that country, dude. It's so annoying. Every time I have this place, I get a million comments about the goings-on there. Here's the 31. Looks like the 31 and the 6 kind of are the same road, perhaps. I think we're on the 40. That's what this sign is telling us. We're on the 40. We're going towards Tel Aviv. Okay. I think we're, like, here. Because this way, which is east, would take us on the 31. Yeah, that is the 31. Okay. It's weird. It only says 6 here. Am I happy with this guess? I think so. Let's go back to the beginning just to make sure. Kind of in the middle of these two top lanes. I guess we'll just go there. Am I heading in the right direction? Yeah. Okay, yep, I'm happy with that. Let's give it a guess. 8 meters, 5,000 points. Got through it, perfect score, didn't even say the word. Let's go on to round number 5. Looking like this could be a very quick perfect score, possibly my fastest one ever. That says Mana... What? Mana... Manio Toto. Ah, I thought it said Manitoba. Nope, this is not Canada. Doesn't look like it's going to be nearly as easy as the uh, first rounds, though. Seems like the sun's in the north, so we're going to be in Australia or New Zealand. Pretty green, leaning towards New Zealand. Let's check out this. Ah, right there, man. Can I get closer? No, it changed. I think it has a website on the bottom. Ah, dot com. Yeah. 2013? Update your Google Maps, bro. What's this say? NZ Post? No, I can't read it. Boot Manufacturer? Interesting. Joring? Isn't that the name of a city in uh, Norway? Maybe Denmark? I've definitely, definitely had a round there. Royal Hotel. County offices. Did I see a flag over here? It's a British flag, isn't it? Yeah. How does that, uh, how does that work? The local residents happy about that or, or not? Kind of looks like a campground, almost. Camper van rentals. Okay, I know we're in Naseby. It has said so many times. Naseby what? You know, Australia is a pretty big place. New Zealand's not as big. 
I think we're in New Zealand though, because of the license plate. I just need more information though. The Falconer. Welcome to Naseby. What? Telling us the sea level? 2,000 feet above sea level? Oh, there's snow-capped mountains there. Yeah, we're in New Zealand for sure. And those are to the north. That'll put us down here. Naseby, there's Naseby. Cool. Back to the beginning. And what street are we on? 11? Is that 11? <laughs> or just 11? And Ness. Not a very big town. There's 11. And there's Ness. Naseby General Store. Right here. We did it, folks. 9 meters, 5,000 points. And that was a 25,000 point perfect game. Pretty easy one, though. Let's see how long it took. 15 minutes and 22 seconds. Yeah, that's fairly quick. You gotta remember, I'm talking while I'm do this while I'm doing this too. Uh, you know, if I was just doing it in silence and focusing only on that, I could probably do it quicker. That wouldn't be very entertaining, though, would it? So, uh, leave a comment with your score. If you're able to match mine, you won't be able to beat it because it's a perfect score. Well, all right then. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.